Now, one of the things that's happened to you that has allowed people to discredit you was there's obviously been some sort of an effort to erase your past. Yeah. Some sort of an, uh, an effort to erase your education history, your employment history at Los Alamos. In fact, right. the only way your employment history was proven at Los Alamos was someone got a list, a directory of the employees from the past and read into it, and you were on that list. So it proved that you worked there even though people were trying to deny it, and they were trying to use that as a way to discredit you, that you never did work at Los Alamos. You weren't really right. a scientist. What was that? What was that like to experience? I mean, of course, we're talking about the 1980s, the 1990s, when you could get away with something like that. Yeah, I, obviously, there were a lot less, uh, a lot less records on computers at that time. It was still file cabinets and, yeah. and folders. But uh, yeah, that was frightening. That was one of the first things. What I happened? Started. I think it's. I think George Knapp was the first one that uncovered that. I mean, he saw my birth certificate disappear. 